Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. All right, here's what's going on. I'm heading out to a friend's place to pick something up. Then, because I'm gonna be oot and a boot in areas that I'm not normally frequenting, I thought that I would see if I can find a place to stop, get some pictures, get some video, shit like that. I did, when I started this trip, go to the UPS store and I picked up the new fall cam cage. There's one thing about it, and one thing basically about fall cam Ulanzi in general that drives me freaking crazy and it gets massive disapproval from me. And that is that they use slotted screws for their stuff. So those quick release plates, slotted screw. Cage, one, two, three, four, five slotted screws to go in this bitch to put it all together. Only the one that goes up into the quarter 20 of the actual camera does it have an additional hole for a like an allen fitting it's not just the slotted screw but it is a slotted screw i don't understand how in almost 2023 anybody is still putting a slotted screw in their equipment uh they realized decades ago how awful slotted screws are that's why they came up with phillips and now that you actually have something that has an Allen fitting on it or an Allen hole, why the hell wouldn't you use that for everything? Like slotted screws are the absolute worst, the worst. And that's as far as I'm gonna take my spit flying rant. Stop using freaking slotted screws, you want slash fall cam, they suck. Okay, so the cage is on the camera now, all is well, I finally got it, we're good to go. Somebody asked me if I could take some pictures with this FX30. Now, I didn't buy this FX30 to take any pictures at all. Like, it's, it's my filming camera. But since they asked, I mean, why not? I'll take some pictures and see how it comes out. I'm sure they're going to be fine. I mean, it is a 24 or a 26 megapixel sensor, so we'll see what we come up with. For now, though, it is a gorgeous day out. It's 73 degrees, sunny. It's the last nice day for a while because as of... Tonight, the temperatures will drop and it's never gonna leave the 50s, I don't think. Maybe maybe into the 60s, we'll see, but it's never gonna be 70, 80 degrees again for, for a couple of months, at least. Unless there's those fluke weird days that seem to happen around here. But it's actually gonna get down to the 40s and, and even into the upper 30s uh, for the foreseeable future. So this is the last nice day and I'm taking advantage of it by not sitting inside, by going outside and playing. So. We're gonna go play now. I've got uh, like 15 minutes until I get to Josh's house and then the world is my oyster. So let's hit it. Okay, kids, here's what I was talking about when I was saying that I went past the one place that had the hay, or not the hay, the cotton all wrapped up in the in like the plasticky shit. I can't really zoom in that much better, but there they are. There's big bundles of cotton. Those are kind of small compared to the other ones that I saw, but you get the idea. So there's an entire field with all that shit wrapped up like that. How convenient, like twice in, in one week. Awesome, okay, let's keep going. Okay, so a very convenient spot to pull over. It looks like this is kind of a, a boat launch area since there are so many trucks that have trailers that look like they're launching boats. Huh. There's some shitters. Man, it's nice out. Okay, now I'm gonna switch this thing over and do some pictures. Okay, so here we are. Not too bad, huh? This is a really nice area. It's also just a gorgeous day out. Pleasantly warm with a nice breeze. Uh, I mean, this camera works exactly like a camera when taking still pictures. It literally, you switch it with the mode dial to whichever you want. I put it on aperture priority and took those couple of pictures. It gives the little boxes and auto focuses. You push the button and it makes the shutter noise. So, I mean, I think it would be perfectly fine if you were going to have one camera with you to, boom, just switch the mode, take a picture get back to filming and that's that okay so uh, this was I, I forgot about this area so this was a great place for me to stop to test this out but let's go out and see what else we can find we've got some repellers so here I am I'm in like 
I guess downtown Norfolk. I decided to pull out here. I'm at Waterside District. I'm just gonna walk around, snap some pics and get some footage because it's all different. Bean has been gotten, and I got the cursed snickerdoodle cookies because they're so damn tasty. Okay, kids, what a fun-filled day, huh? I've been all over the place. I had a lot of little adventures, and it was gorgeous out. Okay, so I just finished dinner. It's 10 to 7, which means I have slightly over an hour to get all the footage off of all these cameras and throw this video together. So... That means I need to hurry the hell up. So that's all you get for today, which was a lot though. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.